the GPS system that we use uh, through NZR comes from VXport, which is a New Zealand based company. Um, and we utilise it just to make sure that we're um, running uh, the right amounts in terms of how much we run um, and how fast we run on certain days of the week, uh, which becomes very important for us when we're travelling uh, to make sure that when we're off the plane we get the first few days of the week right so that we can train at the right intensity at the back end of the week to perform. The whole team wears uh, GPS units in-game. In we like to track uh, everybody so that we make sure we get things right for individuals and not just span it across the group. Uh, we want to know uh, the total distance of running um, and the amount of running versus walking that we're doing for our training efficiency and how fast and how far we're sprinting. Even some school teams are using GPS units now to make sure that they get the loads right for um, athletes of that age um, and that age group. Um, they obviously get used through Mighty 10 Cup um, with a, a lot of teams or most teams at that level, um, all super rugby teams and all national teams. It definitely drives competition, especially when you can look at things live. Uh, if guys want to be able to out sprint each other or, or outwork each other, or especially if you've got two halfbacks going at it in a training session, they're always pretty competitive. So. Um, anything that we can do that creates uh, competition and a bit of context for players to have awareness of when we want them working hard so that they get that stimulus, then that, that's what we want to achieve and the, this technology definitely helps us do that.